debate in relation to the ambulance service uh, throughout the country and in my own county of Kerry. We have the director of the National Ambulance Service, uh, uh, Mr. Martin, uh, talking about strategic deployment uh, of the ambulances around the country. Uh, when he was down in West Cork, he was at a meeting and he's, he said that, um, well, you know, ambulance services will be redeployed, uh, will be positioned in uh, different areas, will be withdrawn from other areas. And he said, well, when it was pointed out to them that as a result of uh, ambulances being withdrawn from towns in West Cork that people would die, he said, well, that's the price you have to pay for living in West Cork. And what that is, is uh, an interesting headline in the Kerryman was cuts death by geography, sure. which is exactly what happens when you live in rural Ireland, according to the ambulance service. Uh, if Mr. Martin, uh, in his nice Mr. Could you uh, refrain from poem, using people's names on the record of the house? Thanks, Cahirley. Um, if Mr. Martin, in, in his nice suburb in, in Dublin, uh, had to wait an hour and a half for the ambulance service to arrive at his door, no doubt there would be an inquiry. Uh, if he had to wait two hours, it would be in Dublin. If everybody in Dublin had to wait two hours for an ambulance, it, there'd be a national scandal. RTE would have it on the news. So we're way over time. And yet, when it happens in rural Ireland, there's nothing about it because, uh, according to the Director of the National Ambulance Services, that's the price you have to pay for living in rural Ireland. So Thank you for hearing.